rich, creamy. This is like the ultimate restaurant version of butter chicken, but I'm gonna show you how you can make this at home. This is my version of a creamy, classic butter chicken. Do you like butter chicken? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do some stirring? No? Just want to watch? Are you being shy now? <laughs> Bye, honey. She does like butter chicken, just not on camera, obviously. <laughs> butter chicken at home. I have made so many bad versions. <laughs> Of this dish it's taken me a long time to perfect this one and I really love it so I hope you guys can try it at home as well there's a couple of things I think you need to do to really get that like restaurant style quality of butter chicken at home so we're gonna go through all of that right now the first thing is we're gonna start with the chicken now I'm using thighs because do I even need to say it <laughs> I feel weird about saying it now I've said it so many times I'm a legs and thighs girl that's right um, we do need the t-shirts. I'm working on it. Uh, but in all seriousness, the thighs, because there's a double uh, double cooking method that we do here, we grill and then we also simmer in the curry, the thighs do maintain their juiciness a little bit more. So they are a good option here. Now what you need here are just some like big-ish kind of chunks. I don't want the chunks too small because as I said, I don't want things to dry out. Let's pop those chunks in a bowl. Now we're gonna get some like seasoning and flavor straight on here. I want some lemon first of all. And now these next two spices uh, I really use for both heat and color. So the first one is Kashmiri chili powder. So this red chili powder is the classic chili powder that you would use for a butter chicken. It's got a beautiful red color. I'm just gonna do a generous sprinkling of that one. Now, this one is spicy. So what I like to do with my butter chicken at home is I tend to add a little bit of the chili powder, which is spicy, um, but then I also add some sweet paprika. Totally not traditional, but the sweet paprika adds a really beautiful red color without adding too much spice. So if you're making this for your kitties, uh, like I usually am, you can add more sweet paprika and use less of the chili powder. So it's just a, a bit of a cheat for the color without the heat. Now, if you can't get a hold of the Kashmiri red chili powder, um, do try and search it out online. It has a really lovely flavor. But if not, you could use um, uh, Korean red pepper flakes, the gochugaru flakes. They're actually a really good substitute here. Uh, I also want some salt here. Then just give this a good mix. So this is looking good. I'm gonna add in some natural yogurt now or Greek yogurt, um, definitely unsweetened yogurt. Just want that kind of tang, that tanginess and the creaminess. And you also want some ginger. It's really convenient to use a microplane for this rather than having to like blend up a ginger and a garlic paste. This makes it way easier. Less cleaning up. And some garlic. And some more spices here. I want to use some garam masala, which is an Indian spice blend, pretty easily available these days. And a little splash of oil as well. Now that gets mixed as well. Now I'm going to thread these chunks onto some skewers. Now one of the really special things I think that makes restaurant butter chicken really amazing is that the chicken itself is typically cooked in a tandoor oven. It's really hot. The chicken kind of gets a little bit charry, a little bit smoky. And that's where I think you kind of go wrong a lot of the time with butter chicken at home is that you don't get that extra bit of oomph from the, the char grilling or the charred kind of chicken. So this is why I devised this version for home. So we chuck everything onto skewers. And then you want to use whatever cooking device you can get 
the hottest. So um, if your barbecue at home gets really hot, definitely um, throw these skewers on your barbecue, get them nice and charry. I'm using a cast iron pan here on a really hot um, gas stove top, that's good. Once you can start to see a little bit of smoking there, that's when you wanna get this chicken on. Now the idea here is that we're not aiming to cook the chicken all the way through. What we wanna do here is just get that really lovely char on the outside. So keep this super hot and we'll finish off the cooking later on. So don't worry too much about the middle of the chicken. Now that's literally only been like two minutes or so, but because my pan was so hot, I'm gonna flip it over now. Ah, oh, perfect. See all of that color? And now I really just wanna amp things up even more here. I am going to recklessly slather these chicken pieces in some extra butter here. And now these guys are pretty much good to go. I wanna get my sauce going next though. So we start off with more butter. It is butter chicken after all. Now I don't want this pan too hot. I don't want the butter to burn or brown. Uh, it's just like a vehicle for us to add a whole bunch of flavor. Um, and in saying that, I'm gonna add some cardamom pods here. And I do wanna just crush them lightly first, to get the best out of them. I need a cinnamon stick here and garlic. And now I want some more ginger here. Now just give the garlic and the ginger like a bit of time in there to get all nice and tasty. Mm, it's really starting to smell good. I'm gonna add now some tomato puree. Now you want tomato puree or tomato passata here. Um, you can use chopped tomatoes as well, but I find you don't get as smooth a texture uh, in your sauce. And now we want some more spices. So we're gonna go in again with our um, Kashmiri red chili powder a little more of the paprika. Okay, so I do still wanna add in here some sugar. And obviously sometimes with little ones, a little bit extra sugar than you would normally do is kinda of good. A little bit of salt. And now what we need to do here is just let this simmer away, kinda of do its thing, get all those ingredients making friends in there, about five minutes or so. Oh wait, one more thing I forgot. Um, depending on how thick your tomato puree is, you might wanna add a little bit of water. So this has been simmering for a couple of minutes now. It's looking a bit too thick to me, so I'm gonna add in some water here. All right, as you were, simmer away. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes here. My sauce is looking decidedly very delicious. It's not finished yet though. We obviously wanna get our chicken in there. So just grab your chicken skewer and slide those pieces straight in there. Now just mix all of that through and then I really want like the chicken to become part of the sauce. The sauce is part of the chicken. I also want the chicken to cook through. So what I'm gonna do is pop the lid on. Just turn the heat down a little bit and let that simmer away for about 10 minutes. Now things are currently smelling amazing. Oh, that looks so good. We're not quite finished yet, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cream. Oh, I just love that color, amazing. And now here's where you always just need to check for how you're going with the salty, the sweet, all that kind of thing. So just grab a little spoonful. Mm. Oh, that is good. But do you know what? Just a few little things I wanna add here. I think a little bit extra cream. Kind of want it creamy, but a little tangy. Just a little bit of extra sugar here. Just a little bit more salt. Now that is gonna be amazing. So what I like to do here is serve this out into a nice bowl. I 
I like to do a little drizzle with just some yogurt. I've thinned it slightly with a little bit of water so it has a nice kind of drizzly texture. So here's another little secret of mine. So in a good restaurant for a butter chicken, you would get a final sprinkling of fenugreek leaves. Um, but obviously quite hard to find uh, when you're at home. So I like to use a little bit of dried mint, which is much easier to find, but adds a really final extra bit of special. And to serve it, I do like to serve it with a little bit of like finely sliced red onion, some chili and lime, kind of squeeze that lime over and then you can add onion and chili to your individual bowl to make it more spicy, uh, particularly if you're in my case and you like it extra spicy. But there you go guys, that is my version of a restaurant style butter chicken. Let's get in there. I mean, it just looks, I just, it looks so rich and luscious and amazing. I can't wait to get in here. You know what I love about a good butter chicken is it all at once, it's creamy, but spicy and complex and luscious and a little bit like, you know, that charry smokiness from the chicken and all the things. It's like a dish with all the things. It's so delicious, oh my goodness. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one. And that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video.